In this video we'll start talking about how to plot things in Python. So we start, uh, we're going to just import uh, numpy as usual. Uh, we're also going to uh, import uh, the plotting library. Um, <coughs> usual story that we can do uh, import it as PLT. Okay, so, uh, <coughs> so now yeah, let's do a, a basic example. Let's just plot sine x. Okay, so uh, <coughs> um, okay, so uh, here we're going to generate uh, some x points. So x is going to run from 0 to 2 pi because we're going to plot uh, sine x from uh, x is 0 to 2 pi. So uh, we use np.lin space for that. Um, so uh, we say np.lin space 0 and then 2 pi and then 100. So we're getting uh, 100 equally spaced points uh, starting at 0 and ending with 2 pi. And then we're just going to do, uh, well, this is the simple way to do it. We'll do uh, plt.plot and then the x's and then the y values. We're going to do uh, uh, np dot sine x. So notice here we're using this kind of universal function property of the, of the numpy sine function. So x is a x is an array. It's an array of a hundred different values. Uh, we can apply np dot sine to it, and it will just calculate the sines of uh, all the elements in the array in one go. Uh, and then we go. Let's just do plt dot uh, show here. Okay. So. Uh, <coughs> Does kind of the obvious thing. Uh, it uh, yeah, so it plots uh, the points with the x coordinates being given by the array x and the y coordinates being the uh, uh, signs of the x coordinates. And uh, yeah, so what happens? Yeah, we uh, you do the plt dot plot. That sort of uh, yeah, that's a kind of you should think of that as being a request. Uh, that, that we're sort of building up a request as to what we want in the picture. And then when we do plt dot show at the end, uh, then it actually makes the picture. Now we actually don't actually need to put in the plt.show, we could take that out uh, and it would still be the same thing, but uh, um, that, that, that's just kind of a, a feature, extra feature that's built into the, uh, the Jupyter Network framework that if it gets to the end of a cell and the plt.show hasn't happened yet, then it just does it automatically. But uh, it's important to kind of remember that it is kind of morally a, a, an extra step. You, you sort of build up the description of the plot uh, and then you actually make the plot as a separate thing at the end. Okay, so let's do uh, a bit more, a bit more of a complicated version. Okay, so firstly, yeah, so here, if we're just doing simple things, then you can just do uh, uh, functions with this kind of plt dot something, and then it, it just uh, plots it. Uh, but there's going to be a bunch of things later where we need sort of finer control. So we're going to do things in just a slightly different way. Um, so, uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to do... Uh, So uh, it won't be so obvious immediately kind of why, why I want to do it this way, but uh, well, hopefully it will become clear it later. But uh, you know, instead of just calling, uh, doing stuff attached to plt, we're going to do fig comma axe is plt dot subplots. Now this, this sort of defines two things called fig and axe. Uh, so uh, and actually it's not going to be so easy to see what's the difference between them at the moment. But yeah. yeah. Fig is kind of a thing that sort of that that's the figure that that's, uh, encompasses you know, all different plots that I might be drawing. But uh, at the moment I'm only, only drawing one plot in the figure, so uh, uh, it, uh, or, uh, yeah, there's only kind of like one one set of axes, um, and because of that, it doesn't really make too there's not too much a distinction between the figure and the, and the axis. But uh, later on, we'll do things where you know we've got like five different uh, graphs sort of side by side. Uh, in the same picture, and then fig will be a kind of container that contains all of them, and then act, you'll have a separate kind of axe thing for each of those plots. Uh, so that's how we do. Okay, so then, uh, um, <coughs> so now we're going to we're going to do plotting sort of attached to the the axe thing. Uh, so firstly, we're just going to plot uh, sine uh, um, <coughs> uh, sine t again. So uh, um, you know, let's say t is np dot min space. Uh, um, uh, 0 and 2 pi and uh, for some reasonably large number. Um, I'm going to do 
629. I'm going to do 629, which is basically uh, uh, that, that's to, um, 100 times 2 pi, more or less. That's uh, uh, yeah, that turns out to be convenient to do it that way. But anyway, it doesn't really matter too much. Just some large number. And then we're going to do y is uh, np dot sign. So actually, yeah, so there's uh, sort of two different uh, two different idioms that I sometimes used. Here I've just called this T uh, and this Y. Uh, but another thing you'll see, uh, let's actually switch to this, is, is I might call this T's and Y's. And so T's is supposed to be just the plural of, uh, of T, and uh, uh, Y's is supposed to be plural of Y. That's because you know, T's is not just a single value, but a, but a whole list of 629 values. So we put in the S to uh, indicate that it's, it's like that. Okay, so uh, okay, so then we're going to just do uh, do the same plot again. Uh, that's pretty much the same as we did before. But now we're going to add a bunch of uh, uh, extra options to this. So let's make it orange. Okay, um, so. Uh, Notice that, uh, as with many kind of computer languages and things, that we have to spell color in the American way without a U. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, let's uh, let's make it fatter as well. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, so, uh, so let's let's suppose perhaps we couldn't remember uh, how to make it fatter. So we can go to uh, uh, to Google Gemini, say. So uh, you can ask, and it tells us here. Yeah, you do the line width parameter, e.g., line width equals three. Okay. Um, so, so that's good. I mean, you could also go to the matplotlib uh, um, documentation. Here we are at matplotlib.org. Um, there's a huge amount of stuff here. It all organised in different ways. Here I've uh, gone directly to the examples page, and here you can see this is just an enor enormous list of examples of different stuff that you can do with matplotlib. Okay. But there's also like the user guide and the tutorials or something. Uh, there's a bunch of different things. But uh, if you've got a specific question, you may well find that it's easier just to ask uh, ask G uh, Google Gemini or something or another AI assistant, and it might give you a, just a, a uh, answer directly. So here, yeah, it's telling us we should use the line width parameter. So let's uh, let's put that in. Okay, so now we've got a fatter line. Okay, and uh, and let's make it dotted. Okay, so uh, or, uh, okay. So again, we could uh, if we didn't remember the uh, precise code here, then we could uh, uh, <coughs> um, we could ask Google Gemini for it. But uh, so uh, here, here you know, the line style is double dash, so that gives us a dashed line. Uh, and uh, another thing we quite often want to do is we want to put in a label. So let's put in. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's, uh, let's do our label in later. Um, okay. okay, so it hasn't actually shown me the label. Um, so why is it not showing me the label? Uh, because uh, you, the well, again, you should uh, yeah, you should remember what I said that. Uh, um, you put in these commands and that's kind of queuing up the list of stuff that you want in your plot but it's not actually producing the plot uh, and then uh, and when you do this kind of thing with la labels there's sort of an extra step to do to sort of work out what's going to be the best place to put the label so it doesn't interfere with the other stuff uh, that's kind of a separate step and we need to sort of request that extra step explicitly which we're going to do like this by putting here axe.legend But you see, that didn't work quite right. You know, it, hasn't put in, it hasn't given me a proper theta here. It says uh, H-E-T-A. So what's going on there? I mean, the point is that you know, here we've got some backslashes in our string. And uh, in all sorts of situations with computers, backslashes are kind of interpreted in a, in a different way. I mean, the backslash T kind of actually means a tab character here. So it's, that's, that's why it's not sort of interpreting the backslash T correctly. But uh, in Python, we could just put an R at the beginning. Uh, R is for a raw string, and uh, you know, if you put, make it a raw string, then it won't uh, won't deal with the backslashes in the same special way. So, um, so that just gets passed through to LaTeX, and, uh, uh, and now we've got the sine theta 
uh, in the way that you'd expect. Okay, so that's good. Um, <coughs> Uh, so now we're going to uh, we're going to add a bit more to this plot. Um, um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to plot uh, sine t, sine twenty t. Okay, so uh, um, uh, so now I've uh, now I've plotted the uh, this faster oscillation. Okay, so this is multiplied. Uh, yeah, I multiplied the sine t by the sine twenty t, which uh, so you've got the overall kind of envelope is the uh, is the slow oscillation by the sine t, uh, but then you've also got this multiplied by this faster oscillation of the sine twenty t. Okay. <coughs> um, okay. Uh, <coughs> Um, and, uh, and then what about the x-axis here? Okay, so the moment, you know, we've just got these numbers like this sort of got running from 0 to 6, yeah, that's, that's not great. Uh, we would, uh, um, we'd, rather, um, we'd rather see the, uh, the ticks on here being multiples of pi, which is sort of the natural thing. So what we're going to do here is uh, uh, we're going to do set x ticks. Okay, so that's going to give us the ticks on here, and then what we're going to do is going to do put in an np dot lin space, uh, okay, so we're going to have, uh, <coughs> so we're going to have uh, five points between uh, zero, between zero and two pi um, inclusive, so that's going to be, they're going to be spaced by pi over two. Uh, and then we're going to put in the uh, the labels. Um, zero pi over two uh, pi three pi over two and two and two pi. Okay, and then again these are kind of raw strings, so we don't want to deal. You just want to pass the uh, uh, backslashes across the LaTeX. Oh, and actually, yeah, we're going to need dollar signs to indicate to LaTeX that this is uh, that this is kind of LaTeX uh, LaTeX stuff. So now we've got uh, nice, uh, nice labels all along the x-axis. Uh, another thing that's kind of wrong is that uh, for a graph like this, it would be much more natural to have the x-axis kind of running through the middle instead of it being shown down at the bottom like that. Um, so, uh, <coughs> um, so we can uh, do it like this. We can so uh, ax dot spines bottom. That's kind of referring to this uh, this bottom line here, uh, and we're going to move it. Um, I'm going to do a set position thing, and then we're going to uh, set position zero. So that's saying that we're going to take this uh, this bottom line here that counts as the bottom spine, and we're going to put it into position uh, in the middle of the plot. Okay. Uh, <coughs> So now we're good, uh, and then uh, <coughs> um, so we've got a legend here for the uh, sine theta. Uh, maybe we can put in a legend as well for the uh, the other plot. Um, This is kind of a, a, a bit cramped, so uh, <coughs> um, uh, so we're going to uh, change the size of the figure. Let's uh, make it uh, ten by five. And, uh, so now it's uh, <coughs> uh, 
uh, so now we've got a, bit, got a bit more space for our picture. Yeah. And again, uh, let's just, uh, let's put in the plt.show here. Didn't really, uh, don't really need it, but again, it's just to emphasize uh, how, uh, how the thing works. Okay, so uh, so that's a good plot. Okay, but so, yeah, so so far though, we've just got uh, uh, just got a, a single plot. Um, let's have a, have an example uh, where we're going to uh, have more than one plot uh, in the same sort of picture. So we're going to have four plots, so we're going to make it uh, sort of 10 by 10, so as to give ourselves enough space uh, for all of these plots. Mm. Okay, so now because I didn't actually put in any, uh, put, put in any, didn't put in any plotting commands, it sort of immediately showed me the plot with uh, four different graphs, all of which are empty, so uh, uh, that's not really, what, not really what we want. Okay, so we're going to uh, again have um, We're going to plot several several different functions again from zero to one, and so we've given ourselves a hundred points between zero and one. Uh, and uh, so now, X is not just kind of a single thing, but it's an array of four things, one for each of these plots. So, so I'm going to plot something in the top left thing here. So this is kind of position zero zero. That's position zero one. This is position one zero and one one. So yeah, to do draw stuff in the top left, we do uh, X zero zero. So we're going to do uh, okay. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll actually, yeah, sorry, I want to uh, wanted to do four four pi uh, four pi x so as we get uh, more like a reasonable picture there. Okay, so that's uh, that's one plot, and then. Uh, and do a different one uh, here. Um, <coughs> so we're going to do four x one minus x. Okay, so there's that. Uh, that gives me this picture here. It's a yeah. It's a kind of parabola, um, <coughs> and then. Uh, um, We'll put in another one here. Um, okay, so this is like a bell curve, a Gaussian. Uh, and then finally, in the bottom right corner, we'll do. Uh, So now this is, this is like a decaying oscillation, and uh, so we've put uh, <coughs> so we've got uh, four different graphs here, um, but uh, yeah, we haven't sort of said what any of them are. So let's actually put in some titles. Okay, so we're going to put in a title for this uh, top left one here. Um, let's put in title fill ones as well. Okay, so that's uh, zero, one, one, zero, one, one. Right now, the second one. This is a, this is actually this is a parabola. So let's put in here. Parabola. This one is a, a bell curve, and 
this one. Decaying oscillation. Okay, so there we go, we've got uh, those titles. And there's various other ways that you can uh, um, that you can decorate your plots and add extra information to them uh, that uh, uh, you can find in the in the documentation. Uh, okay, we'll do one more example like this. Um, okay, so uh, We're going to do a, uh, um, a two by three array of plots, okay? Um, <clears throat> and uh, so we're going to uh, um, what we're going to do is going to we're going to plot uh, um, yeah, we're going to plot uh, sine two x sine or sine two by x sine three by x sine four by x and so on in uh, each of these each of these boxes. Now, uh, um, so now we, at the moment these uh, the axes they're kind of indexed sort of zero one zero two zero sorry zero 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 one zero two one zero one 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 two six of them, but uh, I'd rather just kind of call them zero up to six because uh, um, that's kind of how it's going to be naturally work. So here I'm just going to do x equals x dot flatten. So that uh, that's going to just re uh, renumber the axes so that I can just call them zero up to five instead of uh, zero 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 one zero two and so on. Okay, <clears throat> and then uh, we're going to uh, make our plots in a loop. Um, okay, so we're going to do a, a loop for uh, i is zero to five. Um, So then we're going to do uh, m is going to be i plus two, right? Because we're going to start with sine two pi x. Um, um, <clears throat> uh, okay, so we've still got the same x's that we had before, so we're going to use that, and then. Uh, set the title uh, <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to do uh, uh, y is uh, okay, and then that <clears throat> then So we need to put in the uh, put in the value of m here. Um, oh, actually, yeah, that's what we wanted. Not pi instead of two pi. Okay, so that's that's good. Okay, so now. Uh, um, okay, so now now we've generated this thing where we've got the uh, plots of sine two by x, sine three by x, sine four by x, five by x, six by x, seven by x, uh, arranged in a nice grid. And that will do for this video.